Today I shall be taught the infallible, unchanging, the Word of God. So my mind is alert. And my heart is receptive as I gladly receive. Word today. I believe that faith comes, that faith comes by hearing and hearing. So we rebuke everything on assignment to be hindrance to this service. That we'll have ears to hear, hearts to receive. And that you will transform us by your word. We thank you for the victory we have through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, Lord, let the word of my mouth, meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And they all said, Amen. 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 Talking from the subject today, which has been the theme for this entire Easter celebration, we rise together. Thank you, team, for moving the stand, but I got too much of that. We rise together. I have two pieces of ID, and hopefully after I get through talking about these pieces of ID, we'll decide to do something. But the first piece of ID I have is my, no, And y'all know what's funny about that is that it don't have Starbucks on it. All you saw was the insignia. <laughs> this is not a piece of ID. So. That couldn't have went better if I had timed it to be that way. I have two pieces of ID. You know what this is. 
Well, if you're still in driver's training, you don't know what it is yet. You'll get one one day and have this wonderful picture on the front. And it allows me hood travel. <laughs> it's good for local stuff. Hood travel. Amen. Don't have it in the hood and find out what happened. <laughs> Why are you operating a vehicle? Anybody ever been without it and got caught? No, I no hands. <laughs> Just by. Or this ain't good. Oh, but that's ticking. That's if we rise together. I have another piece of ID. It is my passport. It allows me to go to places outside of the hood, outside of the country. I encourage everybody to get a passport because the passport means that I intend to travel somewhere beyond my neighborhood and my city. How many of you do have a passport in this room? Amen. How many know how important this passport is? On a trip once, I had my old passport and my new passport. And I gave them my old passport, and we were on a cruise ship. They let me off. And I was in another country. But on the way back in, after they, they stuck my stuff back through, the, they knew I was on the boat. My name was on the registry. But I had the wrong passport. The passport allows me entry and exit. Well, the long and short, I don't have time to tell the whole story because that's not what it's about. But, but I was able to come home. I'm standing here. It allows me entrance and exit to another country. This passport presents me as a citizen of the United States of America. It contains a number which is tied to my social security number. It contains my real name. No AKA. And that's not Alpha Kappa. I'm talking about also known as. It contains my, my actual birthday and the state where I reside. One of the key parts of the passport, which I question highly, is the picture. <laughs> Y'all saw some black on the picture, now you're going on. <laughs> what did you say, Shirley? It's an old passport. It's an old passport. I, I have a head full of hair on this passport. It is an old passport. See the holes punched into I tell them now, punch the holes in it so you know I'm getting older, so I won't take everything with me so I can get in and out the country. It's an old passport. But my new one, we just got the other day because we're going to be going somewhere this year. So I, 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 it, was, it expired. They're only good for 10 years. But it allows you entrance and exit, and, 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 and it says something about me. It says it, it, that, that, that all of these things, including this picture, even if it's only a likeness of me, it identifies me with the country. It says I belong here. So identification is important. 
It says something else, too, about me. It means I unite with the government. Even when I disagree with government leaders, I'm still united with them in purpose. I unite with the Constitution. I'm going to give all this to you so I know where it's at. Where I... It brings me in line with a central purpose. And so with that, I give my first scripture. Romans 6 and 4. They're going to come over here. You can look them up. But we're going to talk about rising together. But before you can rise together, you got to come together. Romans 6 and 4, and as I change versions, I'll tell you basically that's where we're going to be in the New King James Version. It says, therefore, we were buried with him through into what? Into death. That just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, everybody say, even so, so. we also should walk in the newness of life. In other words, we're going to do the same thing. That's newness. But before you can, can, can be baptized into Jesus' death, there is an initial step It's called identification. Identification. You cannot be baptized into something that you don't come and run alongside if you don't attach yourself to. I love it when people say, that's my church, but you never hear. Not, not, and I'm not picking on anybody, but I can't be your church if I'm them. See, see if, if we're together, then we unite together. We worship together regularly because we're together. Amen? What does identify mean? Going to give you some stuff, and then we're going to run through. Identify means to make the same, unite, or combine in such a way as to make one interest, purpose, and intention. Everybody needs to stay steady for the word. Just don't let Satan keep you moving and operate steady for the word. Jesus' purpose was to save and to restore man back to what he was originally before he fell in sin. Jesus' intention was to die in your place as the final sacrifice. To pay for your sin. So you could die with him, but that you could live with him. Even though you did not die when he died, you must join Jesus in his death. You must identify with it. See, we see the cross on Friday. We get excited. We say, oh, poor Jesus, poor Jesus. You should say, poor me and Jesus. Poor me and Jesus. I identify with what he did. You all out there? Yeah. This happens when you decide to identify him, be the same, unite, combine in the same interest and purpose. Well, you said, well, his interest and purpose was to save the lost. So is yours. But the, but the best part is you don't have to die to get it done. You've already done that through him. Yeah. 
In other words, when I line up with something, when I line up with it, I identify with something. I line up or, or establish myself with it. I'm a part of Dove, and I'm established with it. Galatians 2 and 20 says, just in case you didn't believe some of that last stuff I said, here it is in Scripture. I have been crucified. This is Paul talking about crucified being nailed to the cross. I have been nailed to the cross with Christ. It is no longer I that lives, but Christ lives where? In me. Where? In me. And in the life which I now live, in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of Man. This new life, I live totally different than before I got nailed to the tree with him. Are you still there? Amen. There is no way to identify with Jesus without joining him. Amen. You might identify with the church, but if you don't become a member, you, you're not with them. You might be in a sorority. You identify with them. I'm one of them. But if you don't pay your, 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 your dues and go to meet, you're not one of them. You might wear red and white or pink and green or purple and gold. You might have all the signals, all the throws. <laughs> Ooh. But you're not one of them. Acts 16, 30 and 31. This is this in case you want to join yes. him. Yes. And joining him is better than just joining. Amen. See, the first place of joining is joining Jesus. Acts 16, 30 to 31 says, and this is when Paul had been, and Silas had been locked up in jail, and, 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 and it, well, there was, there was a situation where, where there was an earthquake, and the jail shook loose, and everything shook free, and, 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 and the jailers was getting ready to kill themselves, and Paul said, don't do yourself no harm, and then, then but, 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 but then it says there, while they were thinking about doing the system harm, and, 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 and the person that was, was, was the prisoner say, don't harm yourself, we, we're still here. Then they decided to walk out, and the Bible says, they said, where y'all going? Come on, come on. Paul said, and, and the Bible says, and he brought yeah. Yeah. he brought his captors out yeah. 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 and said, and, and, and they said, Paul didn't say it. Yes. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Yes. You just messed my head up. Y'all not in your shackles. You not in the jail. You not in none of that. You know, I need to know what's going on with you. And they realized that, that you identifying with something that I'm not identifying with. Yes. And then he said, sir, yes. what must I do? To identify. Are uh, y'all gonna stay with me? You gonna get this in a minute? And 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 and, and so they say, Paul and Silas, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. You and your, you and your, all of y'all. It's as easy as that. You believe, receive, accept him. I'm going to say repent and you can identify. 
But this is not only good for you. When you get back to your household, tell them what you did so they can do the same thing. That's why this is a family and friends day. We, we want to say to you, you know, come on. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You and your household, and you will be saved. Everybody say identify. identify. Romans 10 and 13 says, Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. saved. Got to call on the name. And that name they don't want you to use in prayers. I don't go anywhere and don't pray. The name. Let me go to baptism. We got the identification. How many got the identification piece? How many got ID? How many going to have ID when you leave here? <laughs> All right, I'm not playing. You, you're going to get legal today. <laughs> You're going to have all your ID today. Yes. Don't let anybody sleep. Because I ain't that bored. <laughs> I'm serious, ushers. Anybody sleep, wake them up. Ooh. Our text says, as many of us as were baptized in the Christ Jesus, the idea behind ancient Greek, and, and the ancient Greek word for baptized is baptizo. I'm not trying to impress you with Greek. I'm just saying it, it carries a broader meaning sometimes than what we think. It means to immerse or overwhelm something. That's why I can't get sprinkled. <laughs> just don't drop a little something on me I want the good old fashioned drag me under something that's what it means that, that makes a world of a difference and I'm not going off on any religious persuasion that you know you're still sprinkling for but when John the Baptist baptized Jesus and if Jesus had to go under all the rest of y'all need to go under. Go down dry? Well. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, well. When a person is baptized in water, they are immersed, covered over with water. When they are baptized with the Holy Spirit, they are immersed in the Spirit. Come on. When they are baptized with suffering, they are immersed in suffering. And in this case, Paul says, we were baptized in his death. So to be baptized in his death, we were immersed in death. Oh God, that's deep. My story. After I had repented and received Jesus as my Savior, I submitted to baptism in obedience to the scripture. It says, be baptized for remission of sin. So when you get baptized in church in a pool, there's a pool under these lights and plants. And we don't sprinkle you, we'll take you down in the water. Even if you're scared, we'll still take you down. I won't hold you down as long, but I... <laughs> trust me, I will take you down. But generally, I don't do it by myself. Elder Leroy gets in the pool with me, and he's he, he, he pretty strong. He can snatch you back up. <laughs> and... But when it happened to me, I entered the pool assisted by two persons. A faith confession was made over me and my life. Then I was completely immersed in the water and brought back up. What happened? This was the whole scope of identification with Christ. Being baptized into his death. His burial and his That's what baptism is. That's what it means to us. 
Romans 6 and 3 says, Or do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? He immersed us in his death that we could come to life with him. You go down to come up. That's a good story, y'all. That's a good story, y'all. The process so far, number one, identify and join Jesus through salvation. Number two, baptize into his death. The next part is the resurrection. But I want to tell you something, and we're going to run through this. There were many resurrections in the Bible. Elisha raised the Shunammite woman's son from the dead, but he died again, and she did too. After Elisha died, a set of grave robbers and bandits were, were uh, had, 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 one of their friends died, and, and they were about to be captured, and, 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 and the only place they could throw the man was in Elisha's tomb on top of his bones. And the Bible says it was so much power in his bones that that, that man, that dead man, was resurrected. He stood up. I know the friends that threw him in was wondering, where, where did you? Jesus raised Jairus' daughter from the dead, but she died again. Jesus raised his good friend Lazarus from the dead to the glory of God, but Lazarus died again. After Jesus' resurrection on this day 2,000 years ago, graves were open all around the city. And many people were raised from the dead. And they didn't have nowhere else to go but to where they remember home was. And showed themselves to their family. Now y'all sitting there like you regular. You go back home. And see dead Uncle Billy <laughs> sitting on the porch saying, where y'all been? <laughs> you going to need a passport. <laughs> Not a license. Because business is going to pick up in your hood. Oh, y'all sitting there all regular. I'm good. I'm good. And most of y'all, if y'all hear a dark noise, you go in another direction. I saw a little thing on. Facebook where there was a, a little girl, a, a, a little girl, she was in the. Bathed up, had her hair all rolled up, she was full of bubbles and everything. And it said there, the caption underneath says, What do you do when you in the house by yourself taking a bath and you hear a noise in the other room? <laughs> and all I saw was the girl's eyes, they were about this big. She's looking out the tub like this. That's the way y'all would be looking. Oh, we just get so regular in church. This, this, these are cute stories he's telling that day. No, this, this stuff happened. Peter raised Dorcas from the dead, but she died again. Paul raised Eutychus from the dead, but he died again. All these persons were raised for the glory of God, and they said that even when you die, God is able. To get you up. Even in dead situations. He can raise you up. Come on. 
Some of y'all been in dead stuff. And you experienced the resurrection. Some stuff should have killed you and you walking around alive and kicking. Some stuff should have knocked you out the box and you alive and kicking. You, 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 you probably did something too much where you should have been, 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 been poisoned, but you, you alive. You, you were in a tight situation, but you got out. A car ran into you, but you got out. I was looking at a crash on the east side this past week. A bunch of cars ran over there on Moral Street. And, and, and the lady's house where her car had been hit, she was in the window watching. And, and one of the guys, I don't know whether he was driving, but he was in the car that hit all the other car. And it was smashed up and everything was tore up. And, and he opened the, the, the sun vine and climbed out. And she said a bunch of bleeping words as, <laughs> as he left. I don't believe him because you done tore my car up. He looked around. He was just glad for to be alive. Come on. Can anybody identify with a situation like that? That God blessed you, He helped you. All y'all been good. <laughs> I, I love it. Amen, y'all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Pra <laughs> praise Jesus. You, you all been good. I ain't never done nothing to nobody. I ain't hurt nobody. I ain't told no lie. I, I'm going to sprinkle you on, on in process to, <laughs> to, to, to getting you to this pool. You need a pre-something. The beauty of this day. Why is this day better than any other? And you should be glad about why is it better? The beauty of Easter Resurrection Day, not about an egg or anything. So let the kids have fun. That's, that's all right. We, we ain't against the, the, the bunny. You know, it, it, come on. It, it, come on. You, chocolate eggs, you know, you know, candy eggs, you know, uh, jelly beans, all of that. You know, just if you can, eat it while you can because there'll be a time when you can't. So. <laughs> but the beauty of this Resurrection Day is that Jesus was raised from the dead. But that's not a period, it's a comma. To live forever. He was the first of his kind. And the Bible says he was the first fruit of them that slept. Well, a lot of people have fallen to sleep for thousands and thousands of years. But the Bible said he was the first fruit of them that slept. Yes. Come on, yes. There was nobody that ever slept that got up like Jesus got up. Amen. Come on, that, that was dead that got up like Jesus got up. When he died, they threw a party. Party over here. Party over there. There was a party in hell. Until there was a stirring in that tomb. The Bible calls him a first fruit. First means this type fruit appears before the other fruit appears. This type fruit appears before fruit like it appears. He had to be the first of his kind so we could be next. So it wouldn't be said of, of us like it was said of the widow of Zarephath's son. Eutychus, Lazarus, and all the people I named, they, they, they died yes. after being resurrected. 
But it is said of Jesus Christ that he got up and he still lives. And he got his body with him. Are y'all there? And if he did it, he said, so shall you be. Don't be just like that. So you're going to be oh so wonderful. You're going to lay it down looking one way. It might be sick, might be whatever. But when you get back up, you're going you, you, you to just stroll past me. You're going to say, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Who is that? Yeah. This looks better than my license picture. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it looks better than my passport picture. Yeah. 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 Are y'all out there? Yeah. Let me move from that. The next part tells us What a beautiful promise feel hope we have. The English Standard Version comes in this next verse. Romans 6, 4 through 8. And it reads, We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death in order that just as, everybody say just as, as. Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father. Everybody say we too too. might walk in the newness of life. For if we have been united With him in death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self, golly, ain't no use to getting saved if you're going to stay old. You're going to act up the same way. You're going to have the same problem. Ain't no use to identify if you're going to stay the same. Because the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he ain't an old creature. Old things. And behold, look at this. All things. You ain't as hateful as you used to be. You ain't as unforgiving as you used to be. Your temper ain't well. Something got to change for you to identify with Christ. You can't get nailed to the cross and stay the same. And let me throw this caveat in. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to from some unrighteous. So there's a cleanup process after the getting up process. Are are y'all there? So that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also, we shall also, we shall also, that's if you died with him, we will sound like we rise together. Sound like we, we get up together. 2 Corinthians 4.14 says, Knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise up us up with Jesus and will present us with you. He going to raise you up with Jesus. Woo! Well, just in case you're confused, this first Thessalonians opens up and, and I, I didn't add that to it. He said, he said, Don't be ignorant. Don't be ignorant. Don't be uninformed about what's next. He said, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 17. Even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord. 
that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. That means when Jesus shows back up, those that have already died and maybe we still living, he said, don't worry about it. You ain't going nowhere till everybody get up. And it said there, for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout. Thank you, God. The Lord himself. Why is he coming himself? Because Jesus knows the way to heaven. So you got to identify with Jesus because he's got the road map. He's got the GPS to heaven. Yes. My God. Y'all didn't get excited enough for this. Yes. Oh, Lord. And he's not going to come in quietly. My Lord. Like some of y'all did in church. You think when you get to church, you need to be quiet. When you're on the ball field, you need to scream. Shut up on the ball field and shout in church. Yes. You play basketball and scream. I can name your team nine. You'll go up and something will get to moving inside of you. I ain't going to say the Pistons because they keep. Alicia Keys sung it. Keep falling, falling. I'm sorry. I... It said the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout. He coming and letting you know, I'm on my way. Yeah. And the dead in Christ, those who have been dead for years, are going to rise up. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together. Come on. Get on up. You, come on, you're taking too long to get up from there. And we're going to join together. With them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. If we identify and join Jesus. Here's the bullet points. If we are baptized into his death. If we recognize that Jesus' resurrection was the only resurrection that benefits us. If we receive the beautiful promise of being joined in his likeness. The Bible declares. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into his death. That just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of God, the Father, even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. How new as he is, so shall you be. We rise together. We rise together. We getting up together. We getting up together. Blessings to you today in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. For a sure word in due season. We thank you for keeping us. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the power of the word today. In Jesus' name. I'm going to do a series of calls in this room. Everybody should be looking this way. Yeah. Looking this way. If you have not identified with Jesus yet through inviting him into your heart, you can do that today. Identify with him. So I carried you through the full scope. 
showed you what he did for you and showed you the promise that would happen for you in you. We're all going to be together. If that's you today, man, woman, boy, or girl, and you haven't given him your life, it's available to you. And this first call is to surrender your life to the Lord. Talking to you, I don't care where you've been, I don't care if you've been church, but if you aren't joined to him, it doesn't matter. And I want you to know that God loved you this much to make a way for you, and that way, that, the way he has a name, it's called Jesus. But the reason why you need to be attached to Jesus is because Jesus is God's son. Jesus came from heaven and he went back to heaven so Jesus knows the way to heaven. He knows the way. He knows the way. And he's so wonderful. He said, I'm a, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be. If you're in this room and you want to make that kind of decision, without hesitating, without waiting, don't let the enemy speak to you. No matter who came with you, this is an individual thing. It's just about you and the Lord. If you want to make that kind of decision, say, I want you into my life, Jesus. Slip up your hand. Slip up your hand if you're in this room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second call is another one where you heard us speak with tongues in this service. It's available to everybody. It's not Pentecostal or charismatic or, or, or liberation Baptist or anything like that. It's a gift of God. You can be baptized in the Holy Spirit. It's available to you today. And you will develop your own language. You don't have to sound like anybody else. It's a language between you and the Lord. You can pray in it. You can worship in it. If you want to be immersed, if you want to be baptized, if you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, slip up a hand. The next call is to be joined to a church. You say, Pastor, I've been away from fellowship. I'm not where I need to be. I know you called me. And you know what? I I'm going to say something. That when you die, you're going to die all by yourself. I don't care who you sit next to or who you with. You might identify with that person, but you better identify with the Lord. And you need to be in a fellowship where you can grow and you can learn and you can be taught plainly and cleanly how to live for him, how to walk it out, how to get up from falls. If that's you and you want to be jo joined to the church, slip up a hand. Am I talking to somebody in this room? And maybe you were backslidden. You say, I was a part of the church, but I'm just not in, Pastor. It's time to come home. It's time to come back to the Lord. He said in his word, he's married to the backslide. That means he has a vested interest in who you are. If that's you, lift up a hand. Say, I want to be come. I want to come back. So there again, any one of those confessions. Now, you can do it on the card that we gave you when you came in. Or you can do it in this service. That card that, that has all those spots on it, just identify one. And somebody will talk to you. Call you after this service if you want us to. We just want to make sure. That you know this day was about you. It's about you. Not about a whole lot of other stuff, but it's about getting people into the kingdom of God. That's why he came. So if you want to respond to any one of those calls, do it right now. If you just want to get up and walk down the aisle, come down front, we'll just pray for you, believe for your life. We're not going to ask you to say a word. I'm talking to you today. Don't be embarrassed. Don't let anybody act. Oh, you're not saved. You're not. No, that ain't the way it is. 
The other day we had an evangelist, one of our chaplains. I'm a chaplain for the Detroit Police Department. And her brother hadn't been saved all of his life. And his sister had been praying for him. And they were up in age. And he lived in another country. And they called her and says, says, you know what? Your brother asked us to pray for him to be saved. And he received the Lord Jesus Christ. And a few minutes later, not hours, because he was sick, he died and went into the presence of the Lord. So you can sit here and assess your age and what you look like or where you've been, or I have a religious experience. If you aren't connected, I'm not there. And don't dare say, I'm going to get myself together because you can't. He came to do it for you. So I'm talking to you today. I'm talking to you today. So if you're here, get up, come on down. Make that decision. Make it.